Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, welcome to the late one of myself, Silver and Sidio. Just got a bit dark today, just a moment ago as we we're about to start the show, but nevertheless, still, um, it's all good. I'm going to see if I can rectify the lights, but if not, we got Nana who is here tonight, and Nana has bring the light. The light has come. <laughs> so, so nevertheless, still, um, but listen, I, I always like to um, have this particular night where I have the youth connections. And what I found with the youth connection is that it is an opportunity for myself to engage with young people. And I believe that is so crucial and so important. And tonight, as you can see, I've got Nana Dua, a fitness and trainer, um, online coach, founder of E-Train Great Greatness, and uh, pride himself on igniting self-confidence and changing people's lives through the power of fitness and nutrition. Now that is important and that is very crucial because at this time with all pandemic and COVID, everybody wants something how to sustain themselves and as well, how to cope with this. Now, without further ado, let me just bring in Nana and for him to actually say more about himself and what's about. Nana, how are you? Can you hear me? No, you can't hear me yet. That's all right, you can't hear me yet. Now you can hear me, you can hear me now. Yes, sir. Good evening. <laughs> now, right, listen, this is very interesting. You and I were just talking a while ago, and we said how the lights are, and he said, okay. And as we're about to start, wow. <laughs> <laughs> the light went. So I said, listen, if that's the case, Nana will have to bring the light. You know? I have it. I have it here. <laughs> Arise and shine for the light has come. The glory has risen upon us. That's right. That's right. Is that fair? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen. I want to thank you so much um, for for coming on today, and and I think it, it is it is crucial and, and it's important at this time to have young voices like yourself um, to sort of share the things that you're doing and what you're about. And um, I just want you to sort of introduce yourself and speak a bit about yourself, Nana. Yes, sir. Yeah. And, and while you speak, while, 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 you, while you're speaking, just speak for a while. If you see me disappear, I'm just trying to sort out something. You just keep right. speaking, yeah? Okay. Okay. Thank all you. Right. First of all, thank you for having me on your platform and for allowing me to come and join to speak um, to young people. So as you mentioned, my name is Nana and I am a qualified personal trainer. I currently work at Pure Gym in Croydon and um, I pride myself, as, um, as Silver mentioned, I pride myself in reigniting um, self-confidence, you know, uh, in people. I, I take pride into uh, bringing joy um, through fitness, um, nutrition, and um, I have experience in um, sports, different sports. I've been playing semi-professional basketball in Italy. I've been playing, I've been playing um, football. I've been playing, uh, I've been doing... Uh, 100 meters, so sprinting, high jump, and many more. Um, so what I do is, um, obviously, as a personal trainer, I just make sure that my clients are directed with the right information. Um, I follow and track, make sure that every workout routine that we go through is um, fully monitored and um, suitable for their needs. I... I make sure that every client that I deal with enjoys their workouts, enjoy their nutrition plan, and eventually they achieve their goals. Okay, that, that's that's very interesting. Every client does that bit there. So during the during the advent of COVID, how did you um, cope with that? Was everything sailing at the same way? <laughs> um. Well, interesting. It was interesting to be honest. Um. So. Obviously, before the lockdown, my business picked up pretty well, actually. I was doing pretty well. And um, when we had to go through lockdown, um, I lost basically all of, all of my clients, I would say. Most, if not most, I managed to keep some of them. But it was very unexpected, I would say. So yeah. business-wise, um, it wasn't that good. It wasn't that good. So... I tried to shift my service online and I found out about this app called um, Zoom. So Zoom basically allowed me to run um, classes mm. um, and uh, to put myself a bit out there, you know, on uh, the different social media um, platforms. Yes. Uh, and um, I decided to invest some of my time 
you know, by running free classes to people and um, show them what I am capable of, what I can bring to them during this um, quarantine time. And um, it went really well, I would say. It went really well. I managed to pick up some clients yes. and um, we managed to work together. Some of them, they were training with me three times a week. Some of them four times a week and some of them two times a week. And I would say within the space of three months, um, we managed to achieve a lot. I managed to post as well on my mm. social um, media platform on a before and after picture. Um, uh, and that really encouraged a lot of people. Yes. Um, through th those pictures, actually, I uh, managed to gain even more clients, you know. And um, and I realized that, you know, um, investing in yourself sometimes requires you to do things for free. It's yeah. interesting. I, I, I'm glad you mentioned that there. It's like you didn't want me to ask you the question. You, you actually, <laughs> you actually um, answered a question which I wanted to ask. And and it's very interesting what you said about investing your time and the, the qualifying whether it's free or not. Because what you're saying is that during the advent of COVID, you had to, you well, you lost clients. Yeah. yeah. Because they're normally used to the physical and the closeness, everything. Yeah. But now they weren't able to cope with the Zoom. Yeah, it's not like Zoom, but Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. You know what I mean? <laughs> they were ready, but then at the same time, you had to recognize that you had to adapt in some respect. Yeah, and by that adaptation, you you tapped into Zoom, and then you said, "Okay," you started finding some clients. Yeah. But the key thing I, I want to know because I think about it like this: um, when you said you got these persons coming on, they were free. Yeah. Now people say. That is free. But you actually say it was an investment of your time. Oh, yeah. How do you work that out then? Because I, I would say that if you, if well, I mean, I, I like my cake. You know what I'm saying? As I keep <laughs> talking talk about cake so many times. And maybe something might be on my tummy. But I walk every morning yeah. since, since the whole advent of COVID, uh, Chris Brown. So one of the 21-day thing I started to do was walking every morning. Nice. And it's, it's a habit. Nice. So, I, so I'm now a walk in the morning and I do these videos. So therefore, even if I eat the cake, it's gonna go away. So, exactly. so you don't have to give me no, any lectures now because I, I've done that, you know. <laughs> well done, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, to be honest, most people take it for granted. Simply walking will help you to burn calories, and that's what people don't know. Uh, and you've done you've done well, actually. Well, yeah. Done but, but but I want to zero into this bit here now because you had to get these clientele now. Yeah. Free, and if you're doing me and and training me, I'll say, wow, that is free. But you are seeing it as an investment. Explain that. So the way I saw it was that um, I plan it to dedicate at least one to two months, obviously, mm. uh, providing my service, um, both on Zoom and actually on Instagram Live. Yes. Um, and uh, the goal was to put myself out there. Mm. You know, the goal was to take my time, plan um, my workouts properly, plan my nutrition plans properly, and eventually, um, by providing a good service, um, obviously, people would have, you know, been interested eventually into um, reaching out to me to provide mm -hmm. a, 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 a full session, basically. So my session were 30 minutes, 25 minutes to 30 minutes workout. Yes. And then uh, in person is um, 45 minutes to one hour. Yes. And... Um, so the strategy was um, to use the people um, that I've trained for free as a, as a advertisement method, basically. So I asked them to give me feedback and to, you know, let me know how they found the, the, the class and if they enjoyed it, if they wanted to, they wanted me to provide something new or they wanted to try something new. And, um, what I did with that is that I started posting on uh, my social media platforms. Yes. And eventually, I managed to get, as I mentioned before, um, more clients because they saw that, okay, um, a lot of people were joining my Zoom calls. Um, so they wanted also to take part, you know. Right, that, so, so, so therefore, what, what you have done then is that you have done what, what people say you have adapted. Oh, yes. You, 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 well, you have no choice, so you will able to eat, isn't it? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> well, That's all I was thinking about. <laughs> yeah, there, there's a motivational coach, and I believe there's an excerpt he said one time that said, if you, if you apply breathing 
and succeeding is that when you put your head down in the water, what is it that you want to do? You want to breathe. Yeah. So your why have got to be so strong that you have to adapt and you got to be succeed. Yeah. And, I, and I believe that with the advent of COVID, where they said a new level of normalcy, mm -hmm. but at the same time, people are actually overcoming and people are actually succeeding. Okay, by the fact that many people have died, um, but at the same time, I was saying to myself at once, this is a spiritual thing and saying that yeah. those people who have died, they're like seeds, you know, in mm -hmm. a certain way whereby mm -hmm. there's going to be an awakening in some respect in the UK and country. Mm -hmm. I believe there's something great, which we're on the threshold of, um, Nana. Yeah, so yeah, so 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 I, I want to talk about the app because there's something that you mentioned about the, the this virtual app. Oh, yeah, e explain, explain about this. Um, um, found of eat and train, uh, what is it? The virtual app form, yeah, yeah. So, the idea behind it was for me to provide my services to as many people as possible. Mm. Um, the, uh, the second idea was uh, for me to make fitness or exercise. Um, accessible to people yeah. wherever they are and um, and just actually to make them exercise at, at home to be honest uh, not having the not having access to gyms to local gyms um, people were looking for um, YouTube videos um, sometimes um, I, I heard from people that YouTube videos are not really uh, the best uh, and uh, you know that's where I decided to bring in to be honest with you, actually, I just rem I just remembered. I started working on this app um last year, and um, it was meant to uh come up in January. So the mm. strategy behind it was uh you know New Year resolution, new uh new me, new goals and everything. But yeah. then, but then we for some reason we just decided to to put it on hold, you know. So when this COVID thing and when this lockdown came in, we were like, wow. It was actually the time, you know. This is actually the time that people will need um, this app, you know. Um, so, so yeah, uh, that's not it actually. So, we, I'm currently working on a, on an update. Yes, which will be coming around November, December, or latest January, and that will provide full service. So that will include nutrition plans, um, hundred plus exercises. And mm -hmm. fifty plus workout routine to follow. So wow. for each day, people will have access to a specific workout, and for each week, people will have access to uh, different diet plans. T tell me, what is the during the COVID period and during the time of the pandemic? Um, how and what was the benefit that you could say or you could share with persons at that time, or even now because we're still going through it? As a way of sustaining coping mechanism, etc. Mm. You know, what, what, how, how do you see fitness as a way of dealing? Because many people, I, I, I mean, uh, I, I'm a child care solicitor advocate, and I, I do a lot of cases. Okay. Uh, ch child care cases was still going on during the course of the mm. pandemic. Um, nothing stopped. We still had cases going on. Judges call us wow. still doing court hearings. Uh, one of the things that came out of it is that there have been lots of mental health issues. Ooh. Families are together in a house, you know, where a child is and, you know, at each other at the same time. Yeah. So there was a lot of mental health issues. How do you see the fitness dealing with mental health? So, um, you know, obviously a lot of people go through many things, um, mm. including myself. Actually, uh, if I have to be honest, the earlier stages of um, the lockdown, I kind of went, went to like a breakdown. Yes. In a sense, because... You know, like we said, um, I had to adapt, you know, to to this new virtual training, and yeah. it was not an easy process. Um, some some days I w I used to wake up and I used to be like, you know, I don't want to train, I don't want to record this video for these people, yes. you know. And um, but then I forgot that what brings me joy is fitness. Fitness actually brings me joy. Fitness actually uh helped me to release stress. You yes. Know? There is something about fitness that uh, even if you are tired and you just complete a workout, after the workout, you feel energized. You feel completely new. Yes. You know, and um, I would say during this um, pandemic, uh, you know, people kind of uh, search for a way to get um, distracted from, uh, you know, being depressed, um, 
you know, going through certain issues. And I believe that fitness is is one of the components that actually uh, bring healing um, for uh, mental issues, mental, you know, depression and yes. all of that. Okay, that's good. And and what what would you say then is um, a key like message to persons who are hesitating about wanting to go into fitness as well? Uh, because as I said before, it took me a while to just start to walk. I had yeah. to push myself, but now it's now a habit. Yeah. yeah. And I look forward to it in the mornings. Sometimes I get up and I say, "Oh, I'm I'm tired," but then I just I got to go. I just put on my sneakers. Tell my, wife, I'm, I tell my wife, I'm, I'm out, you know, and it's, when, once I'm out there, it is just yeah. a rule, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. There was a, there was a quote um, that um, it says, uh, if you practice something for um, 21 days, 21 days it will become a habit, right? So what I would say is give yourself time. The, most, the, the first step is to actually make the, the effort, you know, mm. of, uh, of doing something, of making of how can i even say becoming active you know yeah. fitness doesn't mean that you necessarily have to lift weight like you said it can be just for a morning walk um walking 10 um is it 10 kilometers burns around thousand calories mm. you know or even more you know and 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 i know it might seem like okay it's, it's too much 10 kilometers but obviously you can start bit by bit Allow yourself to be a beginner, you know. Mm. Allow yourself to to start from step one, you know, yeah. and uh, and eventually it will pick it up. It will pick it up. The more you practice it, the more you get used to it and you get adapt. Yeah, you you know what I you know, you know what I what I find in in the walking sometimes as well is that as you keep going and as you keep going, you want to keep going. And for me personally, I get inspired. Mm -hmm. I start doing videos. I get these these inspirational words, and I then when I come home, I realize I say, "Wow, this one is good, man." Yeah. Let me put some music behind it, and and you you reach another dimension. For me, when I walk in the mornings, I have a chat with the birds and the bees and everything like that, and it is awesome when you hear them nice. singing and they're whistling. So it I don't know it, it connects with nature, and there's also mm -hmm. another saying. It always talk about um, you walks. You know, you know when you walk. You know, it, it doesn't. It doesn't talk about um running. He said walk. walk you, know? Yeah. you know, walk the talk, talk the walk. You know, yes. <laughs> run the walk. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I, I always, I always ask this question though, Nana. At this time, especially with young people, and the whole purpose of this, you know, during the whole advent of the the whole Black Lives Matters issue, and you're born in this country of Ghanaian parentage. Am I correct? Is that correct? Or yes. you're born in? I was born in Italy. But then my parents are Ghanaians, yeah. Ah, Bella Pasta. Ah, <laughs> well, you, you watch Mafia, bro? I like Mafia. Yeah. You know, yeah. uh, although I've, I've, I was born in Italy, I haven't actually watched, you know, Mafia, you know. I have to watch it. I have to watch it. I know. I know. <laughs> nah, yeah, you, need, you know, I, I like it. Family means everything. <laughs> you know what I mean? Family, you know. <laughs> I, I like that, yeah. But but yeah, let's go back to that issue regarding the Black Lives Matter movements or the black issues in the UK. What what is it like? How, how do you see that? How do you cope with that? And what's your experience? So my experience in the UK so far, I've I must say I have not experienced any racial um you know I haven't been in any situation like that. Uh, but I would say I think racism is is the same everywhere. So me being born in Italy and being the the second black guy in a private school, you know, uh, I had I have been through stuff, you know, and yeah. um, you know, people will call you names, uh, people will, will probably spit on you, people will probably you know punch you in the face just because you're black, you know. But mm -hmm. one thing I've learned, especially in church, uh, uh, my pastor always says that reaction is everything. Mm -hmm. You know, the way you react to events, to situations is everything. You wow. Know? And, and, and it is true. Like, you might experience racism, yes, but then your reaction to it, you know, might lead to a change, a possible change, or yeah. might lead to, uh, so, you know, worse things. You okay. Know? And, and, and as it, it's interesting you mentioned church. Um, uh, so you're a church goer, yeah? Yeah, yeah. 
and, and, and how do you see Christianity now in the UK? Uh, I, Christianity sometimes they say is not sexy. If you don't want to say that, I mean, it's not of juxtaposing that word there, but it's not hip. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because I go to church and I and I and I find it a hip, personally speaking. I believe I believe it's how you actually um deal with the, the whole thing. The 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 huge factor I, I see in the UK as well. I'm from Jamaica. I came United too as a young man. Yeah. And I uh, studied here, said I was gonna leave here in three years' time, didn't leave in three years' time, which is now ninety-two to um what we call it. Uh, it's twenty-eight years now. I found I found out August the second, twenty-eight years. And August the fourth, nineteen oh. August the fourth also, eighteen eighteen years of marriage as well. And August sixth, Jamaica, fifty-eight years of independence. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And 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 I do find the I, I do find the UK as uh this is me. I, I I'm a person who is a very strong optimist. Mm. And I see obstacles and challenges as opportunities. I see COVID as uncharted waters, There's, you have to have an opportunity in everything. Yeah. Um, how, how do you see that? Uh, and, and with your peers, what is it like in that level of discussion? Um, so you mean how is racism and... Uh, with, well, 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 well there, there are many obstacles. People can find obstacles as much as possible. Yeah. yeah? What I said is that I see obstacles as challenges. So oh, I'm yeah. saying, how, how do you deal with the obstacles that will come? Um. Again, you know, it's all about you um, being able to react in the right way. Um, like you said, there, there are obstacles, you know, uh, but then are you going to stop in front of the obstacle or are you willing yeah. to move the obstacle away? You know, mm -hmm. that's that's the thing. Um, people, most times, they, they, they get discouraged or they, they panic or, you know, they react negatively. But then you being positive, mm -hmm. you know, it brings um, a different... Um, how can I even say a, a different you, a different reaction, you know? Uh, and I am I'm always positive. I try my best to be always positive, you know. Mm. And I see challenges as a a way of becoming stronger. Yes, yes. You know, yeah. uh, uh, training myself to become stronger at least, you know. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. I I see I see some comments here. Um, Nana, Uma. So the statement has stuck with me. Uh, Nana, if you just clarify for me and Nana, uh, which statement has stuck with you? What did he say that stuck with you, if anything like that? Oh, reaction is um, everything. Reaction is everything. Oh, you saw oh, you, you saw that there, because yeah, we're saying yeah. that we can see, see it there. Uh, Nana said, unreal. And there's a grace here that says, uh, wow, just 21 days. Oh, wow. So yes, yes, grace, 21 days. You can achieve anything and it becomes a habit, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I want to say, ladies and gentlemen, that what, what I do after this show is that we 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 take a look at flight and we go over to Instagram and we just sort of do a look at recap of the show um, for persons over there on Instagram as well. Now, I want to ask you um, another question there, and it is the whole aspect of like you, you're a person and you're dealing with your your clients yeah. and you're giving them some tips now. Let's treat this as an investment as well on my show. Okay. What are some of the five tips that you give, which is, you know, which is your secret? <laughs> what are the five tips you give to people? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, I would say number one would be um, to have a structured uh, workout routine and uh, uh, a meal plan. So yeah. what I do with my client is I, I try and monitor them weekly. So, Every week, I give them assignment um, mm. to complete aside our, apart from our private sessions, you know, and um, if if you are a beginner and you 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 are new to exercise, I just make sure that we literally start from square one. Um, yeah. Sometimes it, it gets boring, yeah, but I would rather fix um, the imperfections so that we can perform better. You know, yes. Um, so planning workouts, uh, that is important. Planning your nutrition for every week, that is also important. Mm. Um, also, I make sure, um, that I apply this principle called progressive overload. Is so, that the second? Is that the second one? Yeah. Yeah. Progressive overload. Yeah. So progressive overload is basically, um, uh, a method 
which basically um, require you to in increase the intensity of your training. You know, as mus so our muscles get used to exercise really, really quick. Uh, once you once you get used to certain movements, then um, for example, if you are going for a weight loss, um, you hit plateau, so you get stuck. Yes. So that is when you start increasing intensity. If you are lifting weight, then that means you have to increase the weight. You know, there are so many different ways to increase intensity. Uh, number one, it could be to slow down, um, you know, the, the movement. Uh, number two, to have less resting period. No, I'm, la I'm laughing. I'm laughing because... Did you see the comment? <laughs> yeah, I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm Nana. Uh, Nana. Nana 1 and Nana 2. Nana was on... Nana, yeah. the whole plan of having Nana on the program <laughs> from this moment, this yeah. moment was just to get these tips. Please don't rain on our thunder, man. <laughs> okay, yeah. keep going there. Yeah. So that That's was number two, yeah? <laughs> yeah. And then number three, um, I make sure they have fun, actually. I make sure that my clients have fun. In fact, working out, you should have fun working out. It's not yeah. all about being in pain um you know no come on man no 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 they say no gain no pain come on yeah <laughs> they say that that's true that comes with the second point so the progressive overload so once you start increasing that means okay the pain will start coming but then the progress is made you know it's being made listen man i i used to put, i used to live weights in jamaica man and a place called holborn in new kingston there oh, nice. and every evening after after work go on and push and guys come on push man push. <laughs> No pain, no gain. Come on, push, man. Then I finish and I walk out with my tight T-shirt like I'm walking down the road, you know what I mean? And stuff like that, you know? You know? Yeah. And, and go home and drink some Irish moss and some, some milk. I don't know if you know those things from... Yeah, 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 yeah. I used to, I used to drink them. Yeah. So, having, so you say having fun working out, yes? Yes. Yeah. Um, I try to engage as much as possible, actually, with my clients. Uh, yeah. Bringing games, you know, uh, they they find it entertaining. They find it fun. Uh, point number, f uh, is it four? Yeah, four. Oh, yeah. Um, if you want to see results, you should never um choose to go on a strict diet. Uh, the reason why is because diets are just short term. So if you want to enjoy your journey, your fitness journey, then you should be able to pick a plan or a diet that you'll be able to sustain and to maintain. What you said, don't, you said, don't go on a strict diet, is what you said. Yeah, so don't don't pick a strict diet, you know, mm. alongside your, your workout plan. Uh, you might end up craving a lot of unnecessary food, I would say, you know. Yeah. Um, so restricting your body from certain food will actually yeah. make you crave them. So, so therefore, so therefore, for those who like cake, it's like, <laughs> like cake. don't restrict yourself from cake, man. <laughs> you know, have yeah, you know, enjoy your food. I always say that you we all have to eat uh in mm. portions, you know, so you have to control your portions. Um yes. uh, a lot of people don't believe me when I say reduce your portion and you you actually lose weight. You know, one of my clients uh I literally told her reduce your portion of rice and <laughs> I'm, I'm I can't wait to show the pictures actually now, uh, but it will come soon. Like the way yeah. she transformed her body just by reducing her portion is incredible, mm. you know. And uh, yeah, point number I think five. Is number five yes. is uh, be patient with yourself. Um, understand how your your body reacts to exercise. Understand that it it would take time to get your results. If it if it took you you know uh, six years to gain weight, don't expect to lose weight in two weeks. Mm -hmm. I don't expect to lose weight in one month. You know, it yeah. took you years to gain weight, so it would take you some time. Not years, probably, but it would take you some time. Probably six months if yes. you if you are very disciplined to to lose the weight. So be patient. Yeah. So people got to be patient. So uh, okay, so so we got the five tips there as as what people can use. Uh, in some of your key tips there. One of one of the things you said, um, your your motto is oh, yeah. fitness is a lifestyle yeah i think you sort of elaborate on it but if you can break it down a bit regarding your motto my motto is fitness is a lifestyle fitness 
as I, I, I think I mentioned it before, so is is a uh, once you begin this journey, this fitness journey is it shouldn't be a short ter- term journey. So I see a lot of people um, going for three months or twelve weeks uh, body transformation, mm. you know, and after the twelve weeks they go back into their old habit of yes. eating, you know, uh, processed food like McDonald's, you know, um, and and eventually they just gain the weight back. Mm. So me, by me saying that is a lifestyle, that means that it is a long term investment in you. You know, the more <clears throat> you exercise, the more actually you increase up. Uh, you 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 your lungs actually uh, grow. So when you do cardiovascular exercise, your lungs grow. So your capacity of having oxygen inside increases. Yes, right? yeah. And your heart become becomes healthier. So technically, you we can say that you live longer. Yes, you, know, you live longer. You increase your chances to live longer. So we we need to um, invest our our time into uh, implementing fitness, exercising for a longer term, not for a shorter term. Right. You know, you, you know it's interesting because I, I, as I said, I, I walk a lot, and I walk a lot in the morning. And sometimes I try to find different places. Well, I walk one time somewhere, and I, I think I was lost, um, <laughs> and I didn't have my eight my my oyster card, you know. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> also car. And another time I found another section near near Catford there whereby you can go through some local zones. And I actually created a video which I'm gonna put out soon where I started to do a narration. And this is this I tell you the good thing about and listen, this is an encouragement for someone. It's a good thing to do the walk in the morning in the park because you get so inspired. And I tell you what I got inspired the other day. I was walking through the bushes and I saw all the trees all clustered all over each other. And the inspiration I got was this. They're all allocated to a spot. It may seem to be overloaded, clustered, but they are properly settled in the right place. And everyone, and the birds, and the bees, and everything, and some flies, everyone was actually cooperating in one way. So I did a, I did a, a voiceover. I did like a Morgan Freeman thing as it, in the morning as you walk. And there are the birds coming through the sky and, and, the, and the, the sun is coming through and the leaves, caressing the leaves. Man, it's going to be bad. I, I mean, I, I'm going to give you the exclusive. Um, Nana, even, even Nana here, Nana might not feel bad um, by me sharing it with you because she might say, okay, at least Silver is giving you back something instead of taking all your tips. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But, but I, I do believe that the walking is very good and I believe that when you walk, you can go far, and I don't believe these days, as though I am to to do to put myself into doing things which I won't be able to sustain, so I can sustain the walk. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You know? Ah, what? Do, I think we're losing there. Are you okay there? Yeah. Can you hear me? I can hear you clearly. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 And okay. And and before we, before we move on and before we wrap up, I just want to ask the question now: How can people get hold of you now because that is, I think Nana says she wants to join your, your training group. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Um so um I'm on Instagram. Yes. Um so my Instagram is eat underscore train underscore gain. Yes. And then uh I as I mentioned before I currently work uh in Croydon Pure Gym. So if you go on oh, the Pure Gym. Gym yeah. Ah so okay. if you if you go on the Pure Gym website, um, you select London Croydon, and then my my poster will be there with my details. And uh, uh, I'm not too much on Facebook. I post there every yeah. now and then, but I'm not on Facebook that much. My email, um, my E-T-G, email, E-T-G E-T-G like like that. Dot, dot, at yahoo.com. And, and yeah. then my number, um, 074... Uh, two seven double six four one seven six. Mm-hmm. I think you got some fun there. The Grace Grace Voyer who is actually um, <laughs> is putting up your email address. She she did it quicker than me, you know. Oh, I wow. thought <laughs> she did it quicker than me <laughs> as well. I, I must say, Pure Gym was the first gym that I had a trainer with, and it was all the way in Staffordshire. Oh wow! I was in Staffordshire, I was assigned to um, um, to do some cases down there for about a, I think a year. So I used to go down like three, like four days a week. 
And because there's nothing to do, families in London, so I used to go to the gym every evening. And so I had a personal trainer, um, which was really cool. You know, I was staying just above the gym. And Pure Gym was the one there. That's some really good deals, I must say. Yeah. Listen, Nana, I, I, think, I think it's really good uh, that having you here because what it does, it also demonstrates the, uh, the strength and the viability and the diversity of youth as well, young people. I mean, you know, I always have to incorporate myself into the whole frame of young people because I'm a millennial, you know, and, and I'm just touching 29, going 30. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and it's very good because, I, I, you know, with, with what is happening now, I, I, I said that I wanted to choose to, to give a platform to, to this sort of movement. And I call it a movement, a young movement. Because that is the way how young people can have their voices. Now they're going to have voices in different ways. Mm -hmm. But I say I want to be a part of the process in giving that voice. And if you were to speak to uh, young people, Nana, at this time, because we're in the holiday period, we have a pandemic, we've got issues with racism as well. What is the message that you give based on you, based on how you adapted when you lost all your clients through mm -hmm. the pandemic, and which was your living, your life bread, and then you adapt? You had to adapt in a way. What What's the message that you want to share with young people if you're going to stand up and speak to them now? Oh, very simple and straightforward. So use this time to um, improve and, and increase your skills. Whatever you like to do, try and spend more time. Invest your time into developing your skills and believe in yourself. If you have any dreams, go for it. Um, don't ever doubt yourself believe that you can achieve things um keep speaking positive into your life it works it really really works it works for me and i believe it will work for you um and most importantly don't give up don't give up don't yes. give up in life don't give up in anything that you do don't give up okay well ladies and gentlemen you hear those powerful words don't give up and um don't give up in life and don't give up at all and um as we heard from nana um, and I'll just repeat again, um, fitness trainer, online coach, founder of E-Train Gain Fitness, which is also a virtual app as well. Um, the details are there. Motto is fitness, the lifestyle. Pride himself in igniting self-confidence and changing people's lives through the power of fitness and nutrition. Did we touch on nutrition a bit? Or, or we did? We, we did a bit, yeah, we did a bit. We touched on the nutrition a bit. Okay. So... So without further ado, Nana, and I want to thank you so much for coming on. And, and it, what, what, what we're going to do now is just to take a look at ride onto Instagram. I'm, I'm on Instagram as well, and uh, persons are there. Hi, hi Count Ossie and Kathy, and uh, welcome. I'll invite uh, my guest, Nana, to come over there once we're finished, and then we, we take it from there. And thank you so much for those on YouTube and uh, Facebook. Um, as Nick, I, I just say hi to uh, persons there, which is Nicole, invest, believe, and achieve. Right. That is powerful. Invest, believe, and achieve. Uh, and uh, Grace says, ready to start a new lifestyle. <laughs> 21 days at a time. Now, Grace, I've got to invite you into the, into the discussion. What is, what, is, what is your choice of doing something in 21 days' time for it to achieve? Because when I had my coach on the show, Coach Chris Brown, and Dr. David, and we said, we're going to go on to this 21 days thing. Somebody asked me the next day and said, so Sibren, what are you going to do? I said, oh, I didn't think about it. I can't stop, I can't stop eating cakes. So I've got to find something. And uh, I said, I'll walk. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and that has been great. And that has been um, very successful. So, so um, Grace, well, if you sorry. To, to answer Grace, actually, uh, I have some slots available, actually, uh, for, for clients. So, uh, both online and you know in person. So if you're interested, uh, whoever is listening or uh, watching us, um, yes. I have you know free slots available. So uh, just reach out to me and uh, let's talk. And 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 the key thing what Nana is saying is that the free slots, while it might be free, what he's doing is investing. So I like the principle there. The principle is that if his slot is a hundred pounds per slot, what he's doing is given that as an investment into someone's life as a way to get it back. Am I correct? Yes. Did I sell it right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, you did. Can I get a cut? Can I get a cut? <laughs> 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 did, did, did. 
let, let me hear what, let me hear what, I think, uh, Grace said, I think my first step would be cut down on carbs and take walks daily. This has opened my eyes. Well, that's good, you know. And, and Grace, I want to say to you that the, uh, I'm ready to invest in my, and Grace, I must say to you that the walking, I just started by just walking around the block here and then I, I went and then I bought an Adidas shoes, a black one, and I saw a red one looking at me. And I said to my wife, I like the red one. But the red one looks too red. Next thing somebody said, there's a red, there's a guy with a red shoes running through the park, you know? So I said, I didn't want to use red. And then I went back there and I got the red one now. So I got a red one and a black one. <laughs> and, um, and what I do, I walk around the park and then sometimes I want to run. I feel like I want to run. Nice. But I choose not to run because mm -hmm. I'm a walker. <laughs> I walk and talk. So, I, and, and, and what it does, and Grace, what it does as well, it inspires you because, mm -hmm. and I tell you this, because of the pandemic and, and isolation, <clears throat> people are somewhat not alone. They're around people a lot. And sometimes you just want to be alone. Yeah. And I find with the walking, you end up being alone with yourself, with some nice med meditation music, or just walking, communing with God. And I yeah. find that so inspiring. It, it allowed me as well, and I share this, and I, I don't know, I, I've learned a lot, is you hear the birds in the morning, the beautiful birds, and it's like they're waiting for you. And then when you're walking, and if you're talking on, the, on, on making videos, I even hush my voice because people are quiet. And what it does, it, there's a level of community. When you walk into the partner with the bushes, mm. you actually now start to admire and realize why these persons are talking about nature and wanting to keep things in place with trees and everything. So that's just my personal story about walking, what it does yeah. talk. And, and it, 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 you get a, a perfect communion at the same time with nature. Does that make sense, Grace? Does that make sense? <laughs> um, um, no, no. <laughs> it did, it did, it did. Yeah. It did. Any last words, sir? What? No, no, I want to say walk the talk. Walk, walk, walk the talk. walk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just want to thank you actually for having me, um, mm -hmm. for, um, you know, allowing me to come to your platform to share um, yes, my few points. Um, thank you so much. I'm really, really grateful. Yes, yes. Okay, so now, now listen, we'll, we'll, we'll join you um, in a few minutes um, yeah. over there. If you can join over there, I'll just wrap up now. And so I want to thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, please like and share um, the video and, um, you know, on YouTube, um, Instagram, uh, Twitter, everything is Silburn TV. There's no Silburn else in the world except me. Anyone else is a fake. Alternative facts. <laughs> okay, boss, you take care of yourself and have a good thank one. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you so much for coming on. And um, it, it was good. And uh, um, with Nana for a moment. And, and and I want to thank him so much for that. I, I want to just say that uh, for, for tomorrow, one, one of the programs which I do is Cross the Atlantic. Cross the Atlantic is a program which I devised whereby I try to reach out to persons, um, different parts of the world. So I go across the Atlantic. I've been going to the States, I'm touching Jamaica recently. I'm going back to Jamaica again because I've got um, a se former Senator Norman Washington Grant. Um, he's also um, key in, if anybody knows about Blue Mountain Coffee. Blue Mountain Coffee. And um, he's actually, his, his present title is a former Senator Managing Director and CEO of Mavis Bank and Coffee Factory Limited. Um, so he'll be coming on the show um, tomorrow at 9 o'clock, uh, which is going to be 3 p.m. Jamaica. And I'll just bring up a, a quick a quick, um, quick image of that there. I think it's going to be good because uh, uh, we're going to talk about coffee, coffee tasting, and all of those sort of things there as well. Let me see if I can bring up um, Senator um, Norman Washington Grant. Where is he? Here we go. Bingo. Okay, so that's it. The late one across the Atlantic with Norman Washington Grant, uh, former senator. Yeah, he's a former senator. So that's going to go on to tomorrow night. So that's supposed to be fantastic. And because Jamaica is having the elections on December, uh, September the 3rd, 
myself and a couple persons were thinking about having something called election watch and with election watch we're going to be sort of keeping an eye on the election uh, maybe starting this Sunday, the following Sunday, three weeks, three Sundays before the election, um, maybe try to get uh, different persons from different political parties to come on and to share what is their manifesto and what are they saying uh, and maybe scrutinizing it a bit. So it's going to be a busy time um, leading up to the election. And of course, we're going to be also tapping into Kamala Harris, the vice president um, to be, uh, for United States, so that's going to be an exciting time as well. So there's so much things which are happening. So I, I look for a level of participation with that as it comes. So as a, without further ado, I want to thank you so much for coming on, and um, I'll be popping over onto Instagram with Mr. Nana and finish up and and uh, yeah. So thank you very much for that. And let me see if I can just say bye to anybody else. What the talk is, Nana, and thank you all, guys. Peace out.